So yesterday we uh, we gathered here at the, uh, the Sioux Métis Center here uh, on these historic lands, and and we uh, we we did a few things. We began our day with sunrise uh, ceremony, speaking to the ancestors, and you know letting them know we haven't forgotten uh, forgotten the things that they fought for, and that we we will never forget them. At 11 o'clock, we we rang the bell next door in the in the the church uh, the steeple there and uh, rang the bell 171 times to, uh, to call attention to the 171 years that have passed since uh, the Crown's representative made a promise to this community uh, to protect our lands. When we were done with the, with the ringing of the bell, we, we held a press conference and we issued a letter uh, to the Crown, uh, to, their, to the Crown's representatives, calling on Canada to do the right thing, uh, to come to the table, to establish a process, and to uh, work with this community to resolve the uh, the outstanding grievances from the promise that the Treaty Commissioner made in 1850. So today, as you heard, our Métis Nation of Ontario uh, Historic Sault Ste. Marie Métis community is ringing the bells next door 171 times to call attention to those broken promises made by the Crown to the Métis community, the distinct Métis community here in the Sault Ste. Marie area. Strong promises made to protect Métis lands, to protect those Métis river lots, um, the, the way that the Métis held lands here. And like with Métis across the Métis Nation homeland, this is um, a story of promises that were, were never kept by the Crown. The Crown continued to do their work to pull resources out of these lands, to push settlement forward across these lands, and pushing the Métis off their lands and, and into the margins. And those are the stories of our ancestors. Those are the stories of Métis people here in Ontario and right across the Métis Nation homeland. Stories of strong, distinct Métis communities, stories of the land, stories of broken promises by the Crown who failed to properly recognize them, who had obligations to those people but failed to live up to those obligations. We sent that message back to the Crown that we can't be ignored anymore, that they have an obligation to, to be in relationship with us and to dialogue with us and to figure out an, a next step because they broke a promise and that needs to be, if the honour of the Crown means anything, that needs to be um, addressed. We have to make our own choices. We can't have another government stepping in and saying this is better for you or whatever else is better for you. We know what we need. We have our own elected, you know, council members or officials, you know, working for the MNO. And we work as a body and we decide what we need for our people. And it gives us a chance to be able to find ways to support ourselves, to stick together, and to be able to choose what we want and not just say, push this on you and that's it. And what I really want to leave you with all today is encouragement to keep sharing your community's stories and fostering the relationships that have always been our Métis people's greatest strength. So thank you for the work that you're doing. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person today. It's an extremely exciting day, an exciting moment in Métis history today. And, uh, and I hope you really enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for, for listening to me, for, for being there today and for supporting your community. We are not the forgotten people, we are the ignored people. It was never that, oh, we just forgot about you. They, there were deliberate attempts over, over multiple generations by government to simply ignore uh, Métis communities from, you know, uh, Penetanguishi and Sault Ste. Marie, James Bay, uh, you know, Fort Francis, uh, Northwestern Ontario, and, and then of course across the prairies. Uh, who were repeatedly, petition after petition, letter after letter, resistance after resistance, it just completely falls on deaf ears because uh, there's a deliberate attempt to just ignore us into oblivion. And it didn't work. It, it didn't work and it's never going to work. So, you know, my, my call to the Crown would be, it didn't work 100 years ago, it didn't work 50 years ago, it's not going to work now. It didn't work in Pauli, right? That was your, the, the, the entire uh, the entire uh, legal strategy from the Crown's perspective was, while well, you don't exist. We've already, we've, we defeated that argument nearly 20 years ago. So it's about time to get to the table. It's time. 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 It's time.
It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time.